Hey girl, it's Sonia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be trying on a ton of swimsuits from Target, so you know it's gonna be trendy, super cute, and affordable, which is my favorite. I'm also gonna be showing you guys the fluctuation in sizes because there are tons. I'm gonna to be including my hits and misses, so every haul is not going to have like, yay, these are so awesome. No, some of them look like I also need your guys' help too, letting me know which I should keep and what I should return. I'm gonna hold on to it for at least a week and give you guys an opportunity to let me know in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you have yet to join my family, and let's get into it. I didn't want to include this, but sometimes I just feel like it's necessary, especially if you're gonna see more of my body. You guys better be nice, okay? Or we'll never do it again. I just feel like it's really helpful to show real bodies on YouTube because there are more real ones than there are like the other ones. First up is gonna be this black black bathing suit and it is high on the thigh. It's also got cute ruffle detailing in the front from Kona Soul and it is a high coverage one piece. There is like a built in pad, but it's a whole panel. If you guys watched my Amazon bathing suit try on, if you haven't, I'll put the link down in the description. If you watch that video, you'll know that I hate little, little pad inserts because it just makes you look all wonky. I just like take them out and throw them behind me, okay? But this is a medium, which is supposed to fit an eight to 10. It was $39.99. It almost looks like armor under here. I also love the fact that it comes with optional straps. You can take them off if you want. You can crisscross them in the back. They are adjustable, which I love. So you can tighten it up and bring them to the sky. I personally do need that support. I mean, I'll show you guys with and without the straps, but personally, I love the straps. This is a keeper. I'm keeping this one. It is a tube top that has these cute little ruffle details in the front. It's like a one tiered ruffle. And it doesn't continue in the back, but this is what the back looks like. It's not too cheeky. It only came in black, I believe. It also has some rouging on the side to help with like contouring and making you have more of the shape if you don't have one. <gasps> Ouch! Oh my God, I'm getting beat up. Ow, 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 ow. Sheesh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's some piping here to help it from rolling down. And you can put this around your neck like this and hold it like that. I love bathing suit tops. You can pair with some shorts or jeans or maybe even a long skirt. And it looks like you're wearing like a bodysuit. It doesn't even look like a bathing suit top, you know? These shorts are also from Target and I featured them in my past haul. So if you guys wanna check that out, I created a video where I tried on like, I think 10 different bottoms and a bunch of other tops from Target as well, but the best jeans ever, so you wanna check that out. Next is gonna be this two-piece set. You have to buy them separately, unfortunately. And I know that sounds like a pain in the ass, but honestly, it does come in handy when you are built like me. I have a big chest and I have no <laughs> Damn it! I got the bottoms in a medium and these are medium coverage, high-waisted. I feel great because I'm covered when I'm wearing high-waisted, full brief bottoms like this, but then I also feel like Andre the Giant, so there's something sexy about that. I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff, I don't know. It's hard for me to find tops that make my soft melons look round and juicy, okay? And this one did it. I like the fact that the cups in this one are not tiny, so they don't move and slide around. You can remove them if you want to. I might, but when I tried them on, I didn't have a problem. Here in the front is that little rouging detail, so it can become like sexier if you'd like, but I love the way that this looks. There are some adjustable straps. These you can't remove, but at least they're adjustable. I got the top in a large, which is supposed to fit a size 12 to 14, and this was $22.99. My chest size has changed significantly. I don't even know what size I am, honestly, and I wish that Victoria's Secret would start measuring again, because I know you can't touch each other right now, and I don't even think you can try things on in stores. Unless things have changed, I don't know, but I need a new bra because there's just so much space. Absolutely love this bathing suit because I get full coverage. I have high-waisted bottoms, 
They are full briefs. It's got like kind of like that picnic pattern. It's blue and white, very fine checkers. There's a faux scrunch detail here in the chest. We also have that scrunch detail on the sides as well. So super duper cute. And if you're like me and need extra coverage in the midsection, I would go with high-waisted everything, okay? Next is gonna be this set here. It's like a hot orange. I love this color orange. Obviously my nails are very close in color. I got this in a size D slash double D. The bottoms I got in a size large, eight to 10. And the brand is Exhilaration. This next one here is a one piece. I love, love this burnt orange color. Very like Palm Springs, very like, Joshua Tree. You can see the light ribbing on this swimsuit. I love the detail here in the front with this ring. It was kind of complicated getting into the swimsuit because of all the crisscrossing. So if you pull it too tight, it's actually gonna come undone. Since my back is not like the buffest in town, I always worry that these straps are gonna cut in and make a bunch of rolls back there. It's like, that's unnecessary, but this bathing suit was super cute. I love the fact that it looks like a bodysuit, like top that you can wear out and about. So if you were on vacation and you were trying to cut down on your outfit changes or just overall what you're going to be packing, I love this bathing suit. I wish it came in like an olive green. I think that would be so cute. I'm gonna have to look online because I'm sure there are probably some more colors. This is another swimsuit from Kona Soul. I got it in a size medium, and this was also $39.99. It's a one piece halter top crisscross with a tie here. It's got this really cool detail in the front. It's got a little ring where it's attached. I feel like it looks really good in this area right here too. There are sewn in cups, so I can't pull them out, but I'm not mad at them because the shape is actually really nice. Usually it'd be like this weird, funky triangle and it would be sitting over here somehow. Super cute and I love the color. There we go. Super cute. Kind of sexy and a little bit more revealing than I'm used to, but really, really cute. I love it. Okay, we have two more to go and this one here was almost impossible to get into. My little hanger says it was double XL and all the other options that I had that were on the rack were extra small or small and I knew for sure it wasn't gonna fit. But I thought, ah, oh, extra large, really? Okay, well maybe it just runs really, really small. This is actually a size medium and that's probably why it was such a struggle to get in and out of this. The crinkly material is pretty thick and it just rubbed my skin so wrong. I've got this weird allergy and autoimmune disease that I was just diagnosed with, which makes perfect sense. And getting scratched up makes my skin like welt up with hives. I'm not sure how I had a baby, but yeah. No ma'am. I got these in a size large and it was interesting. These were $14.99. So if you got it going on girl, you better get these and wear them for me, okay? I definitely don't fit into this top. I messed up more of my hair just trying to put it on my head. Also, these bottoms are like supposed to be really high. And as you can see, I'm wearing my own underneath this. Um, just for a sanitary reason, so when I return it, I'm not like, you know, straight on. Lord have mercy. You can see all my little panzona, so no. no. And last but not least, I have this set, also from Exhilaration. The top was $22.99. It comes with optional straps, which I didn't even bother trying on. This one's gotta go back to. This is also a no-go, the wire on this top is like digging into my skin right here and it's already super uncomfortable. They're really cheeky in the back too, or at least they're supposed to be. They're just too low. I mean, I feel like, <laughs> yeah, right, no. This is not, nope. And that's it for today's video. I'm itchy now. Let me know which one of these suits is your favorite in the comment section down below. And as always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.